Hello artists. In this video, I will show you how to build colors and texture on the foreground of your artwork. When you look at your reference photo, if you focus too much on all the tiny little details on there, it's going to get pretty overwhelming. So as I mentioned in my previous video, I start out by blocking my colors. I try to pick a couple colors that I can see underneath all the detail work and then I just lay it down. When I block my colors, I don't burnish any of my paper. If you burnish your work too soon, you're gonna have a hard time building the other colors on top, especially during the blocking process. Once I feel like I've gotten my colors the way I wanted, then I go on top with the colorless blender and I burnish the paper. This really helps blend my colors together The subtle detail work that you see on top or in your reference photo, that's applied towards the end. At this point, I know that I'm not going to be mixing any of my colors, so all I'm doing is laying the colors on top. Depending on the texture that I'm trying to create, I might have to stippled, I might have to scumble. I stipple some soft little leaves on top of the subtle tiny little branches in the foreground. Remember you're trying to create the illusion of your objects. Towards the end here, once my work is almost done, I go in with a pencil, that's because that's what I have. I went with a pencil without an eraser and I scraped away some of the small subtle little detail. What I'm actually doing right now is exposing the paper or all the other different layers of pastel from underneath. I even went back on the tree up there, scraped a little, some uh, little areas out, trying to expose or create the illusion of leaves flickering in the sunlight. Went in, scraped away at my tree, tree there. Try to create that bark texture. So pretty much this is what I did for my drawing. I hope these tips help, helps you. Uh, I look forward to seeing your work. Continue art making, all right? Good luck.